Yes, morning people. Hope everyone's good. Hope everyone's blessed. Listen, this story is about times of being ghosted in prison. Ghosted means when someone don't arrive on the visit to come visit you. They've told you they're going to make it. They told you they're going to be on their way. But um, unfortunately, they don't actually make it to the prison. So I tell you a time where um, I got remanded when I was 17 years old. Yeah. As I got reminded when I was 17, what happens next? Um, obviously, I'm enrolled in it. But this time now I got reminded for some, was it armed robbery? I'm not sure. Um, robbery, in it. I got I got reminded for robbery these times now, yeah? So, um, I was on road with a couple of men. Obviously, I was on road with these men for, for many years, in it? You understand? For a few years and obviously used to eat together and... Every day we would be together, we'd be breaking bread, get me whatever, get me whatever. We're breaking bread, innit? You know what time it is, innit? So, these are my brothers, you know. We're eating off the same plate, we're sleeping, we're waking up first thing. They, these times now, we didn't have Snapchat or we didn't have stuff like this. So, we knew where we, we had to link up. We have to link up like Crown Street or somewhere around there, innit? Now, Crown Street is a street in Acton. So, anyway, cut a long story short, um, I end up going on to my visits. But then, when you go to your visit, you're all excited, you know. Imagine when you get charged for a violent offence. So, if you got charged now for, I think, you, um, for um, a... Sorry about that. If you get charged for a nanking now, yeah? A violent offence, you got charged for a nanking, you got charged for robbery, armed robbery, something like that. What they do is they strip all your clothes away now, yeah? Now you got stripped from head to toe. Now you hit the wing with Gucci's. Gucci's are some shoes where, well, they're, they're like, they're like, I can start tap dancing. If you ever had a fight with Gucci's, yeah, bro, I know that fight was a hard fight because I've been there, bro. Fighting with Gucci's or sliding, slidding, sliding everywhere. So these times now, anyway, tutus now, um, Obviously now I ain't got no clothes, so I come on the I'm, uh, I'm waiting to go on a visit. I'm saying yeah, got a couple of my man them coming on a visit right now. Get me, it's gonna be get me. I'm ringing them just before the visit, you know. This is like right, you man, you coming? Yeah, what man's on route, fam? Man's on route, like man gonna be there early. Yeah, yeah. my real niggas are coming. Get me, my niggas they ain't got niggas like mine. But obviously, everyone's chasing the bag. You understand? There's lines on road. People got lines. They got things to do. Like your whole visit is not even their priority right now. They're just trying to move this reload. If they can move the reload, then maybe they may come see you. But the reload come first. A reload is if you've got a, a certain amount of maybe drugs or whatever. You want to move that clear that before you can do anything else it makes you more of you know what i mean it makes it makes the stress levels go down when you ain't got no food around you or anything like that so that's their main concern so i've come on a visit now as i come on a visit um i'm sitting there on a visit like that but visit's two o'clock you know but everyone's coming and shh. you know when your heart's just beating you see the door open See, yeah, it's them. It's them. Slam us over here. Some old lady comes out. Shh. Oh, it's not them, man. Oh, you just down like that. You get back up. The door opens again. It's them. Oh, it's not them again, bruv. I'm thinking, what happened? You start making bad excuses in your mind. Now, they won't do this to me. So, when you got a visit at 2 o'clock, the last time for your visit to come in is free. If they, can't, if they don't come in before 3 o'clock, then that visit gets terminated. So it's 5 minutes to 3 now. 10 minutes to 3. I'm sweating down. I'm whiling. My whole, this, oh, my whole, excuse me, my whole boat is dry right now. So I'm thinking, wow. So this uh, someone comes up. So you right there, mate? Yeah, you right there? You want a cup of tea, mate? Nah, 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 nah I'm all right, mate. I don't need a cup of tea. Are you sure, mate? Like, what? I know your visitors ain't come, but you know what I mean? It happens, you get me? Don't worry, mate. You can get your cup of tea. You want a sandwich? 
Like your heart, you just got pride of thinking, nah, bro, I'm all right, you know. Deep time now, your mouth is dry like the Sahara. Watch this now. Yep, it's time for you to go. No, give me five minutes. Wait. Wait, five minutes. I know they're coming. They won't do this to me. They're my brothers. Why would they do this? So now go, get up, get up. Don't want them to call a scene, Mr. Hassan. I'll call you by yourself in a minute. Hassan, we don't want to call the scene. Just get up, get up. Make your way out of the visiting hall. Get up, man. This is me. So now I'm on the wing now. Now I'm walking back to the wing thinking, dickheads, like, rah, these men are chokers. Why are they doing this to man? Rah, 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 rah. I thought man were brothies. You gave me man, I thought man were homies. Man are doggy dogs. Rah, go on for this, innit? Now I come on the wing now. Ring them. Rah, go on. Fam, man got to the visit detail now. This bro. They're asking for ID. I said, brother, what do you mean they're asking for ID? You knew you needed ID. Cool. Let that slide. Another time. And uh, haven't and I had better other visits. So the moral of this story is, yeah. Bro, if you think you're out here, you're banging for certain people. You're out here, you think you're showing love to certain people. Bro, the streets don't love you, homie. That's what I'm telling you. The streets don't love you. They love their falus, the money, the lag. Like, that's the main cause. Yeah, there's a couple brothers around, but the best brother is the brother that tells you to be a better guy. You understand? The best person around you to become a better guy. If the person still wants you to be to the same Tom, Dick or Harry every season of the year, what is that brother got intention for you? Hotel, what has he got intention for himself? You understand? For if from time he wants to live that kind of life, do you think that's a good person to be around? So, the moral of this is right now, yeah, that your mum is the one. You know what? To be honest with you, I got one visit from a friend of mine. You know what I mean? His name was Omar. Omar's from East London. You understand? Omar is my good brother. Really good brother. I met him 14, 13 in Bow. My dad used to live around Bow area, so this is how I met my man, innit? Good brother. He come visit me. You understand? Guess where this brother is right now? As we speak, this brother is in a mental hospital. You understand? And may Allah release him from that place. I mean, and he hurts me. It's like the always is the good ones that something happens to you. And it's, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, you, man, if you think you're out of here and you got a squad, like, forget about that, man. Everyone's chasing the money. You understand? Focus on yourself, focus on your family, and focus on what's good for you. I mean, life is not about growing through it. It's about growing through it. Not just going. Don't just go through life. Grow through life. Learn from your mistakes. Elevate. Do you know when you go into prison, you come back out the same age. You know, man, spent like three, four years in there. Yeah? One big, one big thing I spent three, four years in there. Do you know I came out the same mentality, on this some bird bird thing. Ah, da 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 da. But yeah, right now, the, the, since I've been on road, I've been on road for a long time now. Yeah, but. My mentality is grown. If you know me as an individual, then you know that Ra Agul is becoming a lot more mature than what he was 10 years ago. You understand? So what I'm saying is, man, get into your books, man. And I don't, I'm going to save another video for how it feels to be down the block. So I'm going to do this one straight after this. So, yeah, you guys, subscribe, comment. If you like the video, then, yeah, show love and, yeah, reposting it. Don't know, man. Hope you guys learned something from this. Just know you ain't got nobody but your family. Get me back. But your mum. Mum's the main one. You understand? So don't put your mum through these things. You don't want your mum being sniffed up by dogs. Is your mum an idiot? Why is, she, why is some dog sniffing her up? Got some man all touching. Da, 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 grabbing up your mum's thighs and that. What For what? Nah, man. You don't want that, man. Trust me, man. It's not worth it, man. So, yeah. Respect you, man. Love.